Good morning, good morning. Welcome to In the Garden with Joyful Living. I am Kimberly Dixon. So, as you all know, in the fall and winter time, um, the broadcast isn't on every Saturday. I come to you about once a month or every two weeks just to give you an update on the garden. So, let me let you take a look at things out here this morning. So, it's fall time. We're in the middle of fall, so we get some nights that are pretty chilly. So, as you can see, I've bundled all of the summertime vegetables that are still uh, producing here in the corner, and I cover it with a sheet at nighttime so that the frost doesn't kill it. But then you see some things like the kale the collard greens there's more kale more collard greens aren't those greens just beautiful look at that this my snow peas i didn't think i liked snow peas but until i uh my son asked to grow some and realized that i love them when they are grown fresh good morning gwen i just don't like them out of the store i don't know what that is that they're selling is bitter and just i don't like them but and then here's more collard greens but as you can see, it's not many, many leaves on it because I picked them and cooked them. But that's the beauty of many uh, items that you have in your garden is you can use a technique called pick and come again. You don't pull it up by the root. You just pick the leaves off and they grow back. So I'm anticipating uh, having some new shoots on these really soon. But as you can see, I'm not going to be before you long because I've got a new business venture and we have training on Saturday morning. So, based on my topic for this morning of hardiness, you can see the things that were really fragile. I huddled them together and put them in the, cover, in the corner and I cover them at night. But then, there are other things in the garden that doesn't need to be covered up because it is naturally very hardy it can withstand the cold it can withstand the rain it's the stalks are thick so it can withstand wind that's the hardiness of a plant those collard greens are just beautiful i bet that <laughs> tastes good I'm, a, I'm, uh, I'm sorry i got sidetracked but isn't that just beautiful and plus look at all the variety of colors of green and between the difference between the kale and the collard greens but these plants are naturally hardy. They can withstand temperatures down to the 20s for a night or two, and then um, you, you would need to protect them after that, but they can withstand really, really cold temperatures, which is why they make a great fall and winter vegetable. But we are hardy too. We have a certain amount of hardiness too. And whether you are naturally hardy or you are, aren't naturally hardy, there are ways that you can combat that to be resilient and strong in the face of life's adversities. If you know that you are, and everybody is different, if you are rattled easily and you get overwhelmed easily, you can become more hardy by doing things together, by being in a community of people that support you, that love you, that are going to nurture you, that are going to have some empathy. Now, what, be mindful that I said a community of people that are going to love you, nurture you, support you. Because uh, you can also be in a community of naysayers that are just going to bring you down. But if you huddle together with some like-minded people, huddle together with a community of people that when you are feeling shaken, they're going to post you up. They're going to help you make you stronger. But if you are naturally one of those people who are, you know, just tough as nails, they're more resilient, they can withstand the cold. Well, then sometimes people think, well, you know what? They're strong. They got this. But even in that, you could only withstand it to a certain degree. So you need a community too. You need support too. You need to have those people in your corner who are gonna post you up on, as the word says, <laughs> as they say in the old church, on every leaning side. Post me up on every leaning side. So whether you are someone who is naturally hardy and people think of you as a strong individual, or you're someone who 
a wants community around you because I'm a loner. I have been all my life. But in that, I've also learned that people think that because you are strong and resilient that you don't need them. And that's absolutely untrue. I do need you. I just need you in a different way. So I want everybody to remember that needing people is not a, a sign of weakness, but also not needing uh, to be in a social environment every second of your day. Uh, that's not a, a problem either. That's not so. We all need support. It's just in different ways. So your level of hardiness can be uh, determined by many different factors in your life. The social factors, how you grew up, how many kids were in your family. Uh, I know a lot of people who were only children who are very social, but I also know people who grew up in a family with a bunch of kids who are also very social. But it impacts everybody in a different way. I grew up with other kids, uh, always around with my cousins. So... Uh, I enjoy a little quiet time. Nothing wrong with it. We just have different personalities. But I enjoy being with my family and my friends at times as well. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. You know why? Because that's the one time when everybody is together. Different levels of hardiness. We need different things in different seasons. So during this fall season, the summer crops, they need to be covered up. They need to be protected. But the the, uh, the fall and the winter crops, they don't need to be. They can withstand the cold. But at a certain point, even they need to be protected. So don't um, allow, I, you know, I'm a strong person. I can do this. Hinder you and prevent you from getting help when you need it. Everybody needs help sometimes. Let's take off of these capes and these shields that says, uh, I don't need anything. I don't want anybody around me. I got this. But all the, all the time you're suffering because you won't accept the help that's being offered to you. Don't let your level of hardiness fool you into an island. Trick you into putting yourself on this island alone by yourself. So guys, the whole point of today is... Everything has a different level of hardiness, but everything also needs to be protected and covered at times. So don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Don't be afraid to get counseling when you need it, whether that be through uh, a, uh, a pastor, a life coach, a, psych a, a psychologist, a therapist, whatever help you need. Don't be afraid to get it. And you know, ultimately, we are always protected and covered by God. Take it to the throne. And then when you take it there, leave it there. That's what they told us in the old church. But don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Because God said, uh, God, Jesus said, come to me who are all who are labored and uh, heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Keep coming to him. Keep going to him. Until you find whatever it is that you need. Thank you for watching In the Garden of Joy for Living. I am Kimberly Dixon. I will see you soon for the next update on the fall vegetables. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.